Although, actually, it is better to... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What a meme. Oh, right, because it's a, it's got the um the filter. It's got the chroma. It's got the chroma. What? Riding with the chrome. <laughs> it's huge. And that's the smallest one I have. <laughs> Mom, you don't need to hold my hand when I'm crushing the street anymore. <gasps> I'm a doctor, don't question it. I'm a doctor, don't oh, yes. question it. <laughs> Yay. Official. I have to go to work. Yes, I'm Matt. Yes, <laughs> You even get the badge. I feel exceptionally professional right now. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I'm not professional at all. <laughs> yes. I look like your kid. <laughs> we'll put that up. We can take this one down. And then we can angle this. Yes, I look less like your child now, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, just two medical professionals. <laughs> Tell me, what brings you here? <laughs> We're doctors. Don't question it. I literally forgot that this is the thing that- oh! We're good. Good catch. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> it's about to attack me. Don't yeah. worry. Woo Every time I look at the green screen, I just see me sitting here watching you <laughs> work on the microphone. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. Little known fact, it was actually the common cold that wiped out uh, over two thirds of Europe. Wasn't it actually? Or the Spanish flu? Bubonic plague. That was... <laughs> That feels like so much longer ago. Actually really close to, okay. So recently I've been seeing a lot of things like, oh, did you know that we're closer to like the ancient Egyptians than like this? And I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty f crazy. Oh, a, a time perspective. Yeah, thing, but... like a time perspective type of thing. But that's just because we're like, science allows for exponential growth. Yeah. So God, we're gonna be flying, well, no, no flying cars. But that's why it feels like the bubonic <laughs> plague was like so much longer ago. Yeah. Like it feels like such a distant history, like felt like it feels like prehistoric almost. One of my patients had it. <laughs> that's, well, yeah, because it re-emerged recently. And dude, Madagascar has been dealing with that for a while now. I know, which it's like, Shouldn't we have the technology to deal with it at this point? I don't even oh, no, know. We what, do. Like... We do. It's it's a pill. You just take okay. like several antibiotic pills. So and it feels good. like it shouldn't be this big of an issue, but it is. Madagascar it was because they can't even afford a pill. I mean, it's Madagascar, yeah. Um, and also the fact that there aren't roads connecting a lot of the villages. Mm. So you have to take a helicopter. 50 miles, 100 miles into the fucking mountain where there's nothing to that village. I forget Madagascar even has people. Yeah. It's not just like lemurs. <laughs> like it's... Escape to Madagascar, the movie. Ah, uh, yes, the historical film from 1992. <laughs> it's like the only, only thing I know about Madagascar. Wait, you're slightly taller than me now. That's not cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw you back in the ball pit. <laughs> I mean, you could just like take me down a notch. I don't know where the lever is. Oh, there it is. Talking about communicable diseases, I was thumbing through, um, well, I was really just trying to learn my lay of the land at the hospital. And I saw like patient charts and a bunch of um, binders. So each, each patient, they still have a written record and a electronic health record. Yeah. Because obviously if ever power is cut or the computers yeah, go exactly. down, yeah. You need that backup. So amongst the charts that I saw like preparedness manuals and like what to do in a fire, what to do in a hurricane and this and that. 
And then one of the binders was actually an Ebola preparedness, like, uh, oh, they call them algorithms. That's okay. what they call them. And I just stopped and I was like, what a weird, it feels like an artifact. Yeah. Because it was such a big thing and then it just went away. When, like, 2016? Certainly feels like it. <laughs> I know. But it feels like yesterday. But that was mm. so also so long ago at the same time. Yesterday was a long time. Well, even if you think about it now, like, the height of COVID was already, like, three years ago. Okay, that's just nuts to me. That's, right? We were also in high school, like, five years ago, so... I know. Well, that's another crazy thing now. So a lot of these kids in my classes have had no sort of college experience. They've only been online. This is their first time in the classroom. This is true. And it's, like, <laughs> mind-blowing to me. Like, all these kids, like, at the beginning of the semester, my professor was like, oh, who here has never had like a college experience before? Who's like first time in the lecture hall is this? And like almost the entire class raised their hand. They were just trying to get a break. <laughs> They're like, oh, maybe the professor won't assign homework to the people who, who've only been home. Yeah, no. <laughs> so like, that was just so weird to see though. Like this is their first time in a lecture hall. Like this is their first college experience because like they've only been online. They only know college through a computer. And that was like really mind boggling to me because obviously we started college in a normal college environment. There was no COVID. Yeah. So like back going in into the, college- Back in the old days where the, the horse and buggy would carry us to the, the old no, schoolhouse. It's crazy how much can change in just such like, God. when we got into college, like online classes were like, not really a thing. There was maybe like one or two online classes that you could take. Speaking of the, the good old days, when are we going to bring back the dunce cap? The dunce cap? <laughs> I mean, we could do it right now. Literally, hold on. Put a dunce cap on me. Do not underestimate the powers of the internet. Man. Oh no, the microphone's falling. We're good. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Perfectly on my head. <laughs> and I can have a friend too. <laughs> we can bring in the whole gang. Oh man. <laughs> Just a, just a bunch of geniuses. Oh, so one of the other things that I recently saw, uh, I forgot that I don't have a button for the dunce cap. It's just gonna stay in there, <laughs> okay. Um, was um, I recently saw, move over, you're like taking the, you're hogging the sheets, Maddie. I'm cold. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, not that far. Uh, okay. Um, one thing that I saw recently was patient vomiting feces. Yeah, wow, okay. I told my parents about that and they were like, you're joking. Yeah, it's gotta be <laughs> like, rough. How does that even happen? Like how does one vomit sh Ilias. So you get a blockage. That makes sense. And depending on how far along the gastrointestinal tract that it is determines how long before you have fecal emesis, really. Yeah. And so this patient had a bowel surgery and it was um, two days it took for the patient to start vomiting feces. Oh my God. It was like diarrhea out of the mouth. That's so bad. That's so bad. You can't wash that down with milk. No. You, how do you like, oh man, I have so many questions <laughs> that I genuinely don't even want to ask. Honest to God, I don't think I want the answers.